Welcome to the 10th episode of Skyrim Cut Content. Today we will be talking about an NPC who got cut. But was it for the better or would you have liked them in your game? Let's find out. For a location we'll pay a visit to Skyrim's trade capital, Whiterun. We won't need to travel far, for our actual location is found just inside the city borders. The purchasable home, Breeze home. Many Skyrim players probably remember it as their first home, maybe even their only home. It is the cheapest and smallest house you can get in the game, but that also means you can get it pretty early on. Once you've received your house car Lydia, she will move into Breeze home upon purchase. That's already two people in a pretty small house. Granted, once it's fully furnished, it's pretty decent. With your possible spouse and up to two adoptable children if you have the Heartfire DLC, that makes five. But what if there was one more? Another resident who you didn't love, or even like. One that's just there for his own well-being. Meet Tarek. Tarek is a level 4 Imperial citizen with a base ID of 0001A673. He's still part of three factions. Crime faction Whiterun, Whiterun standard crime faction, Town Whiterun faction which indicates his place of residence and Whiterun Breeze home faction which is unique to him but doesn't really serve a purpose other than to indicate his location as the faction doesn't actually own any objects inside of Breeze home. He has a very basic AI schedule but I don't think that he would have needed a very complex one as he's located inside Breeze home at all times. He only has a standard sandbox package and a sleep package as well as his unique sandbox package making sure he can freely roam the house. He only wears a simple belted tunic with boots and carries an iron dagger and nothing else. The last special thing about him is his remaining unique dialogue, seven lines to be exact. After hearing those, you might not like him. Now if you don't mind, my house could do with a bit of dusting. Oh, what do you want, hmm? You're in my home. That's right, this here place, Bree's home, it belongs to old Tarek. Now, I don't care about no deeds or laws or other nonsense like that. This house was empty, so I settled in. And now it's mine. You can't kick me out of here. You want me gone, you're gonna have to kill me. I'm a generous man to those who treat me right. Might be I'll even let you live here with me, if you mind your manners. Don't let the door slam into your backside on the way out. Well, what do you think? Personally, I like him. Not the person, but just his ambience. He adds something unique to the place, but if your opinion differs from mine, that's completely okay. Maybe you don't want to listen to a random drunken house thief and spend your time with your waifus and children with no witnesses around. Then let's just follow his own advice and kill him. Well, the story doesn't end there. No, he doesn't return as a spooky ghost and hound Breeze home for all eternity. He actually has a functional WI dead body cleanup script, which means his corpse will get removed from the world and his coffin will appear in the Hall of the Dead. This just shows how much of a finished character he actually was. In comparison, many Whiterun NPCs or NPCs in general, Arcadia for instance, don't even get a coffin. The developers just apparently forgot to create one. Now for the reason why they would cut such a finished character, well a couple of things come to mind. As I mentioned before, he can make a crowded house even more crowded and since he also sleeps, this might lead to some very annoying moments with him stealing the bed. From a logistics standpoint, I can also believe that he shouldn't be included, I mean, he does not possess a key and doesn't even have any logical reason to be located inside of the house. Also something minor, but he has some weird clipping issues with his mouth. Nothing a game developer can't fix, but you know how Bethesda is. One of these things, or the combination of them, might have resulted in Tarek becoming removed from the final game. Of course, the actual reason shall only be known by the game developers, and I can do anything but speculate. And that's about all that can be said on Tarek. I hope that I've just educated someone somewhere about Skyrim's good content and then I'm happy. I would love to hear everyone's thoughts and or suggestions in the comments below. And until next episode, we have enough content to keep us going for a long while.